This is not like any other caterum we know. It's called the Project V. Could this be the vehicle that convinced petrol heads electric cars can also be fun to drive? Let's find out in this episode of Auto Review. We know if it is an electric sports car, that's no fun to drive. But when I look at this car, I feel something different about it. A feeling of something solid. Something simple and something fast. The Caterham EV features a 268 horsepower motor located in the rear axle, delivering a rear wheel drive setup for dynamic performance. It can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. With a 55 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery, it offers an impressive 249 miles of range on a single charge. The battery supports rapid DC charging at 150 kilowatts, enabling a 15 minute charge from 20 to 80 percent. The vehicle offers three drive modes sprint, sport, and normal, which adjust power and suspension settings to suit your driving preferences. Remarkably, it weighs only 1,190 kilograms, making it 150 kilograms lighter than the Porsche Cayman, ensuring a lightweight and agile driving experience. Three drive modes keep to the idea of simple, normal, sport, and sprint are all the driver has to choose from. It's got a control arm suspension at front and rear, electrically assisted power steering, brake discs all around, and a staggered set of 19 and 20 inch wheels fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. But why would Caterham even attempt to build an electric sports car with no storage space, only three seats with an unusable third seat, 249 miles range? No manufacturer in the right mind would release this car. Let's dig deep to find that out. Caterham is famous for building kit cars. Caterham's success almost entirely depends on the Caterham 7 built 50 years ago. The Caterham 7 is a super lightweight sports car produced by Caterham Cars in the United Kingdom. It is based on the Lotus 7, a lightweight sports car sold in kit and factory built form by Lotus Cars from 1957 to 1972. 7 was designed to be the lightest and most enjoyable car drive. So light that it requires only 36 horsepower. Latest Caterham 7 comes with 310 horsepower. However, after Lotus ended production of the Lotus 7, Caterham bought the rights to the design and today make both kits and fully assembled cars. The modern Caterham 7 is based on the Series 3 Lotus 7, and now Caterham has developed it to the point that no part is the same as on the original Lotus. This Project V is different from their usual production line, kit cars. I will fill you in on what a kit car is. A kit car is an automobile available as a set of parts that a manufacturer sells and the buyer then assembles into a functioning car. Usually, many of the major mechanical systems such as the engine and transmission are sourced from donor vehicles or purchased new from other vendors. Kits vary in completeness, consisting of as little as a book of plans, or as much as a complete set with all components to assemble into a fully operational vehicle such as those from Caterham. Caterham stands for simplicity, lightness and fun to drive. Firstly, and most obviously, the open cockpit, open wheel philosophy of the spectacular Caterham 7 is gone, in favor of a streamlined shape that reaps huge aerodynamic benefits. It's still very Caterham when it comes to the thought process behind the design, everything has earned its place on the car. Anything superfluous has been done away with to reduce weight. If you look at it from this angle, it looks like a beetle. However, I wonder if Jaguar has to say something about Project V's face. Looks interestingly similar to CX-75. French designer Anthony Gianarelli, the guy who designed Gianarelli 1, is the designer of this stunning masterpiece. According to him small exterior details might change when Caterham actually builds this but this design is the 90% of the final car. Aluminium monocoque chassis and bodywork is carbon fiber composite for strength and low weight. Just look at the flow of the bonnet. Flared wheel arches and headlamps seamlessly blend together. Caterham logo LED lights inside the headlamps are a nice touch. It is aerodynamically designed with the mindset, design following the functionality. There is no front trunk or frunk. This allows a better driving experience as double wishbone suspension and driving column sits there freely. Behind the front grille there is a radiator. Yeah, you heard me right, there is a radiator. As Caterham says, next-gen batteries will be liquid-cooled. And electric cars might overheat on the track. So that's what the radiator is for. Project V comes with a single windscreen wiper. McLaren F1 had a single wiper. Moving to the sides. Regular side mirrors. No cameras for the side mirrors. Charging port the front fenders. Wide haunches at the back. Rear is inspired by Lotus Elan. Rear lights got the same outline as the Elan. It's a flat surface at the back with a vintage vibe. 
Then there is boot space at the back and Caterham hasn't revealed the capacity of the boot space. Down at the bottom there is a fat diffuser. Caterham remains a small brand, and we all know how hard it is for niche automakers to develop the necessary parts that go into making a car. To speed up the engineering process and reduce costs without compromising quality, the Project V uses the same door aperture as the Audi TT while the thin seats come from Maserati. Why spend time developing parts that have been tried and tested elsewhere? That has been the thinking of Caterham as Caterham 7 uses a Ford engine and Mazda gearbox. The Caterham EV offers a unique and stylish interior. The cockpit features a small steering wheel and modern round digital gauges with a classic design touch, blending the best of both worlds. There are digital displays for the instruments, a touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and even air conditioning. It's a very modern step up from the Caterham interiors used in the 7. The interior design embodies a minimalist aesthetic without sacrificing essential features, creating a clean and functional environment. Notably, the battery is split into two parts, one located under the driver's seat and the other under the back seat, marking the introduction of back seats in a Caterham vehicle for the first time. Comfy electric Alcantara seats and seating position give the impression of a high-end car, ensuring comfort and luxury. The seating arrangement is 2 plus 1, with an optional 2 plus 2 configuration. I have to add, the second row has tiny headroom and legroom. There's a sneaking suspicion that this car will be every bit as thrilling to drive as the Caterhams that have come before it. It's light, well-engineered, and still geared towards offering an engaging drive. We can't wait to get this out on the road. Not cheap but for an electric car that looks good as a daily driver. Caterham says they want to build this as no manufacturer would build a lightweight EV that handles well. If everything goes according to plan, the production version penned by Anthony Gianarelli is going to cost £80,000. At current exchange rates, that works out to approximately $104,000 or €93,300. So the big question is, would you buy this car if you had the money? Let me know in the comments section. So it's a wrap for today. Check out this clip from Caterham. I will see you in the next video, until then drive safe stay safe.